السلام علیکم ایوری ون دس از عبد الصمد انر فرام حبیبی ولاگس ہاؤ آر یو آل آئی ہوپ ایوری ون از فائن اینڈ ڈوئنگ گریٹ سو ایز آل آف یو نو اباؤٹ دی ریسنٹ اناؤنسمنٹ فرام سعودی عربیا دیٹ دی ٹوینٹی فور آورس کرفیو از اینڈیڈ آن ٹوینٹی سکس اپریل سو ان دس ویڈیو آئی ول بی ٹیلنگ یو اباؤٹ دی کنڈیشن سیٹ ٹو ری اوپن مالز اینڈ کمرشیل فارمس اٹ از ریئلی مینڈیٹوری ٹو نو اباؤٹ دیز کنڈیشن ٹو پروینٹ یو گائز فرام اینی ڈیفیکلٹیز اور لاس سو آئی وانٹ یو آل اینڈ آئی ریکویسٹ ایوری ون ٹو واچ دس ویڈیو ٹل دی اینڈ Welcome back everyone. So I will be telling the conditions set by Ministry of Municipal and Rural Affairs for the reopening of malls and commercial farms. During the non-curfew period where commercial activities are allowed to function in line with the stage regulations. These are the following important points everyone should know. Keeping mandatory social distance between all individuals at all time. No gathering or crowding is allowed. No use of cash, banknotes is allowed and dealings are restricted to means of electronic payment. Clothes, fitting rooms and prayer rooms will be closed. Seats where people were allowed to sit shall be removed. Electronic gates and doors only to be used in case electronic doors are non-existent. The doors will remain open throughout the work period not allowing return or changing of any goods once sold. The numbers of customers inside each shop should be kept at the rate of one client per 10 meter square. Entry into shop shall be organized such that the customers will have to wait outside if the density has reached its maximum level. Stickers and clear marks should be used on the ground to organize the crowds of clients to be specified density. Ensure compliance with the mandatory social distance between clients at points for payment and receiving goods, entrances and exits. Periodic sterilization of shopping trolleys and baskets and covering exposed goods during transportation should be ensured. Placing, publishing and spreading signs and guidance signboards to ensure that all understand the precautionary measures and the imposition of mandatory precautionary health measures on all the employees. These include wearing masks, washing hands, wearing hand gloves and changing them periodically. Creating full awareness among the workers on the risk of virus and the precautionary measures that ought to be observed at all times. Asking the employee to self-isolate immediately when the virus symptoms appear even if mild. Flexibility in granting sick leave so as to enable the employees to self-quarantine when any symptoms appear. There should be flexibility in changing employees' shifts to minimize mingling among employees during registrations of entry and exit. The health authorities should be notified immediately when any case with the symptoms of virus infection appears. All places for entertainment and gathering like games, shows and prayer rooms should be closed. Seats and places where clients can sit should be removed from the corridors and passages. The commercial facilities should have units for medical checkup and sterilization so as to measure body temperature at all entrances throughout the working hours. Anyone with a body temperature exceeding 38 degrees Celsius should be barred from entering the facility. Anyone with a body temperature exceeding 38 degrees Celsius should be barred from entering the facility. Sterilization of the whole facility is compulsory every 24 hours. There should be isolation rooms available to be used as quarantine if some case is suspected. Children under 15 will not be allowed into these facilities. The presence of security men should be dense and security rounds should be carried out continuously to ensure food full compliance with the precautionary measures, valid services, parking vehicles is forbidden. Guidance and instruction signs should be spread as conspicuous places to make sure that everyone understands the precautionary measures. Lift should be closed, stairs should be used. If there is no staircase, only two people will be allowed to use the lift every time. 
So that's all for today. I hope everyone is now well known of every condition set by Saudi government. Still, if you have any questions related to it, feel free to ask anything in comment box. So after everything, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to get updated every time whenever I will upload my video. So this is Abdul Samadhanar from Habibi Vlogs signing off. Oh.